Recent construction technologies are evolving as construction in the modern age is also changing. Understanding the growing environmental concern is a vital demand to develop a construction material that is equally strong, a synthetic material, and will not harm or pollute the environment. Eco-friendly construction materials can be derived from agricultural waste. Agricultural waste is a major contributor to the pollution load to the environment. The waste of banana and coconut are abundant in various plantations in Misamis Occidental and the whole Philippines. The waste produced for banana waste reaches 1,049,456 metric tons, while coconut waste reaches 554,034 metric tons. However, this waste contains natural fibers that can become potential solutions to enhance the quality of some construction materials used in the Philippines. A technology called GeoCell and GeoGrid are geosynthetics that have been used in the construction for slow protection and to improve the performance of both paved and unpaved roads by reinforcing the, the soil in the subgrade base interface or within the base course. Though this aims to increase the roadway performance at the same time, promote an economic advantage, this is not yet widely used in most roadway construction in the Philippines. GeoCell and GeoGrids are usually made of high-density polyethylene and mostly being imported from other countries. Several studies proved that natural fibers can be a potential replacement for synthetic products in terms of its strength. However, its durability with time when exposed to the soil is a challenge. The laminated natural fibers composite as GeoCell and GeoGrid are new and innovative ways to address the quality and service life of payments. Moreover, the use of Eco GeoCell and Eco GeoGrid in, in the pavement will address the problem in the quarry resources in the Philippines. These new and innovative products are promising to the Philippine construction industries and can be potentially manufactured locally. I am Flor Delisa Cabang, the project leader of this research entitled Laminated Natural Fiber Composite as eco cell and eco grid for road reconstruction and slope protection under the Shurer City Program. This project is into the development of eco cell and eco grid made of laminated natural fiber composite. Waste from banana and coconut will be utilized together with the laminating agent to form a laminated natural fiber composite. The said composite will be formed as eco cell and eco grids as an alternative to the existing synthetic cell and GeoGrid that are commercially available. The products of this project aim to be eco-friendly and sustainable construction materials. This project also aims to be at par or even better compared to the existing GeoCell and GeoGrid. To verify its performance, EcoGeoCell and EcoGeoGrid will undergo material characterization and actual performance test. For the potential impacts, this proposed project will enable to give livelihood to the people in Misamis Occidental and be able to sustain and uplift their earnings through waste agricultural products. Since natural fibers are naturally abundant, thus, it is sustainable not only in Region 10, but in most parts of the country. The marketability of the products for EcoGeoCell and EcoGeoGrid, when manufactured and produced locally, is very promising. This new industry will give livelihood to people. Moreover, construction industries will no longer buy imported synthetic products. Instead, they will use the eco-friendly and low-carbon footprint products, the eco cell and the eco grid. This is a two-year funded research project under DOSTP shirt. 
This is in collaboration with the following partners. Mindanao State University, Iligan Institute of Technology, the Bocarco, the Philippine Textile Resource Institute, the Department of Public Works and Highways, Bureau of Research and Standards.